Hi, it's Mel from Wildly Curious here. As we're unable to offer face-to-face -face sessions at the moment, I'm putting together some videos to help you and me keep your outdoor and bushcraft skills topped up. I've tried to do videos of activities that you can practice in your own gardens and that only require resources that you're already likely to have or can find really easily. If you do manage to do any of the projects, it would be absolutely brilliant to see some photos. They can be posted on the Wildly Curious Facebook page and also you can subscribe to the Wildly Curious YouTube channel so that you can get notified every time a new video appears. Now, go outside and have some fun and stay wild. In this video, we're going to be learning how to do some Nordic slinging and make a braid. This is a Scandinavian method of braiding, sometimes called a romantic braid because it takes two people to make it. It's a great activity for all ages. We've done it with children aged from four upwards alongside an adult. So here are some things that you'll need. Some string or wool. I'm going to use two colours here and um, cut them to about 120 centimetres of each. Although obviously this can vary according to the length of braid that you want to make. Then you need some weights. I'm using tree discs with holes drilled in them to thread the string through, but there are all kinds of things that you could use for this. You could use water bottles, small toys, teaspoons, anything you like, just to tie to the ends of the pieces of string to weigh them down. Okay, let's make a braid. So measure and cut your string. I'm using about 120 centimetres, but you can use however long you like. This is how to tie the overhand knot in the middle of the string. Tie your weights on. Once your weights are all tied on, you can hook the string onto, onto something that's a little bit um, sort of hanging up in the air, that's quite high. Um, we've got a couple of hooks up here on the shelter roof um, leading down to here. If you don't have anything like that at home, you could use a peg on the washing line uh, or from a tree, anything like that. So we've hung these up, the, the strings are currently quite um, tangled around each other. So we're just going to untangle them to get started, which is quite straightforward and easy to do. There we go. Now the weights that we're using, uh, there is a set, there's a pair that have got cows on them, blue cows, and there is a set that have got yellow fish on them. Now, Richard and I need to have one of each. So we need a cow and a fish each. And what we need to make sure is that we're holding the cow in the same hand. So the cow is in my right hand. Is it in your right hand? Yeah. And the fish is in our left hand. Right, we're all ready to go. So to get started, I find it a good idea just to say the name of the weight that we're going to swing first uh, and then swing second. And that helps keep in a rhythm. Once you get into the rhythm, you can stop um, saying and just do it in your head because it, frankly, it's quite annoying. So, uh, should we start? Should yeah. we go cow first? Yeah. Right, you ready then? Here we go. So we go cow, fish, cow, fish, cow, fish, cow, fish. Okay, so we're careful to always lick, drop the, um, the weight and catch it in the same hand and not to swap hands. That's a really easy mistake to do. This is almost one of those things that if you do it without thinking about it, kind of subconsciously, you just do it. As soon as you try thinking about what you're doing, that's when it all goes horribly wrong. If it does all go horribly wrong, that's fine. All you need to do is stop and untangle it 
and then start again from where you left off. So as you can see, it doesn't take long before you're, you start to build quite a nice little braid. What's quite interesting with this is you can get two different patterns depending on the arrangement of um, how you tie your weights on. I'll talk more about that later. Okay, we're getting reasonably close to the end here. We should be able to speed up now, now we're experts. Okay, that'll do. Right, once you're down to as far as you want to go, find some scissors, cut off your weights, and then tie another overhand knot at the end, clamping all four of the strings together. There we go. There we have our beautiful Nordic braid. So you can see here, there are um, some braids that we've already made. Um, these, are, I've used the same two colours, but we've ended up with two different patterns. One is like a spiral, and one is more like a chain link effect. And the way that you can get that effect is um, when you use your two different coloured strings for your braid, you can get two those two different patterns depending on which weights are tied to which colour strings. So for example, a pair of matching weights tied to the same two colour strings will give you one pattern or a pair of matching weights tied to different colour strings will give you a different pattern. Once you finish your braid uh, you can use it as a bracelet, a decorative belt, hair decoration or to tie up some of your bushcraft kit. If you do have a go at this don't forget to post your pictures on the Wildly Curious Facebook page so we can see how you've been getting on. Also don't forget like and subscribe the YouTube channel. Bye.